ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, takers of all ages. That's right, you hear it right. It's Soviet night. Welcome everybody, how you guys doing? Thank you for tuning in. The power of Stalin will compel you. We might see a whole bunch of IS-7 tonight, we don't know. It's gonna be a 10v10, TGL-7. First game out, second game out, punished versus now they're the steel dragon that's gonna be a good lineup all soviet night what up comrades speaking of comrades i got a amazing room mod this evening so a big giant shout out to my one of my really 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 good friends mr omega what up buddy another great night to be out watching some great tankers hell yes sir Secondary mod coming up up in this room. Y'all know him. Y'all love him. He loves banging his balls at the same time as swinging his club. What up, Happy? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. I <laughs> <sighs> got you off guard. And of course, my comrade in crime. Uh, my 54 commander will I drive it what up going on this Rivyat, which means hello in Russian <laughs> hell yeah welcome everybody hope you're having fun I know this should be an action-packed night I'm really excited Soviet mother Russia So L7 coming in here, both these teams coming out with a very, very good GTL season. L7 still on the yeah. flight. TG did get uh, knocked out, unfortunately. Um, but the team that they faced was, yeah, I'm just going to say it was top caliber, top caliber. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, there's, there's nothing but top level talent uh, left at this point in GTL. That is very correct. All righty, both teams coming in here. There's a Rappel Flyer. I knew I saw his name from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I saw... So, Hells, just to... Go ahead. Yeah, as, as I say, uh, so for Soviet night, there is no limit on any tier 10 Soviet tanks. So you, we could see 10 IS-7s conceivably, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, it's going to make it real interesting. I... Maybe I think our best chances of seeing that will be coming out here on Insk. Um, it, it, it's going to be a lot of fun, but it looks like we're going to see some oh, diversity, yeah. though. Uh, some 430U. I like it. There's oh, that's a regular so 430. Good, uh, yeah, regular 430 and an object uh, 705A already out there. But I, a 430U sounds like a great shout as well for your mobility and vision. wonder if they're going to grab a 268. Yeah, 268. For a also, lane. Yeah, stuff up a lane with that. And it does have high alpha, so I can pop an IS-7 turret on one shot, if you hit it right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a hey, lot of good hey, possibilities hey, 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 hey. here. You can't be saying mm -hmm. that, Dex. That will get you sent to the gulag, man. You don't, mm -hmm. don't, don't be talking bad. <laughs> No hey, cookies in the gulag deck. If, if the <laughs> IS7's on the other team, they get sent to gulag. Yes. <laughs> you just gotta watch, you know. We, I have to keep it somewhat American, though. Yet again, USA. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> America. There we go. But back to the Soviets. Yep. <laughs> there's, there's the IS7's coming on from L7. <laughs> Well, this you have L7. We'll be, I'll let you be rolling down that listing. Oh, 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 someone screwed up. Yeah, wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, he pressed speed too quick. <laughs> Ooh, 2684. Yeah. That's interesting. Two, um, 268. Because 
it, I think that will hold up well unless you're slinging heat at it. And if you're slinging heat at its face, uh, it won't hold up. But um, right, it it could conceivably work. And there's another two six three on the other side by Atheist. So what uh, L seven has uh, seven tanks up there. I'll go through there. Eight. Or eight tanks up there. Yeah, I'll go through their uh, lineup 10, 10. real quick. Um, do they need 10. the room open? Maybe. It looks like TG definitely has all of their... Two, four, five, six. Eight, nine, ten? Yeah, they got ten. And L7 has eight. Oh, they're actually going to pull out a lot of DPM with those 263s and the 268 yeah. version 4. But either way, I'll go through the L7 lineup while they're kind of figuring out if they are going to grab two more tanks. We have Legally Atheist in his 263. We have the 430U by um, Hellfish. And then we have a series of IS-7s, Random Gamer, Mayor McChungus, Big Slice and Maid, and then two double 705As by Smoke Showing and Obliterate. Over on the TG side, if Hells wants to grab that one, All maybe right. Omega. TG side, we're just seeing here really fast that they're able to get some more guys in, so. They might be able to grab a couple Mercs to get in there for tonight. Just giving a few moments for Big Slice. Want to try to make sure, give it as fair shot as possible. Yeah, absolutely. I like that uh, TG is not holding back on the uh, TDs. Um, got Blue Crab there in a 2.6A version 4, and then we got two, two 60, uh, uh, 263s by Gold Peak and Pug, two 430Us by Comatosis and Cruiser, and then three IS-7s coming in there with Mud Turtle, Rat, and j -Cal, and then finally two 705As by Bull Monkey and Arapaho Flyer. Looks Thank like we just picked up another one on L7 side with Storm Knight, and hopefully he'll throw a tank up here pretty quick, and uh, we can get rocking and rolling. If they can get one more. Ah, let's dump that music. I was one I'm wondering if they're having the issue I was having a little bit earlier. Oh, Xbox was, Which is what? Did have an alert. Oh, I heard it was acting up today, yeah. No, um earlier it wouldn't let me sign into World of Tanks as saying the server was unavailable. Ooh. That's not good. Oh, they got two that, in that now, so... That makes it very hard to play There we go. Panda side. Jingles is nice. cool. 27 nice. months in We're a good. row. Subscription. We're ready Damn. To Did you just say 27 months? 27 months. Jingle has been subscribing to WNF. Two years and three months. <laughs> right? That is why he is an ultra subscriber. All right, here we go with all Soviet night round one. Hell yeah. That's Madonna, comrades. Here we go. So, are we uh, thinking field push or city brawl? Well, I think L7 is going to go to city and have like the IS7s and from two to four line. Yeah. Then the TD is watching down that choke. I think they're charging eight line with the IS-7s. It's L7. Yeah, that's a lot of IS-7s. That's the only thing that makes me think a full field push, but we're gonna find out real quick right now. L7's down there on the south spawn and TG's up there in the north spawn. Uh, I would not want to cross the railroad tracks with all of those TDs on the TG side. That looks uh, like... But those TDs damage. are fairly quick. Except for the yeah. 
version 4. I don't know about and that here one. comes L7. Well, as I think uh, Johnny Depot, welcome. Winner, winner, Thank you for the chicken follow. dinner is uh, Hells on the field push. Yeah, it looks like both teams have decided on the field push. Hmm. I'm going to take that 8 line the with camera the back into the city and uh, <laughs> watch the fun begin. This is going to be a hell of a brawl. Yeah. Look at all the tanks. Well, TG is, yeah, TG is set up more defensively, and Ooh, Trump 7 has definitely been a little bit more aggressive in taking positions, but look at this rear flank tick going on with TG and their, uh, their two TDs. <laughs> And TDs for TG. I know this is going to get a little complicated. Ooh, someone's going to get uh, nailed in the back there. Storm at uh, night. Ooh. Slice took one. Man, TG taking it to L7 right off the bat. Yeah, Coming in with the they flank. got pinched in there. Max, what's up? How you doing? Welcome to Winston Night Fights. Repo Fire. He is in here fighting for his life. Mm-hmm. One thing you don't have to worry about Soviets, there's, there's no auto loaders, and uh, all their tanks are pretty sturdy, so... Right, it's going to be a brawl. It's going to be a drawn-out fight. It's going to be a brawl. Oh, down goes the first one, which is a, a big slice. That rear flank was very effective so far by uh, TG. Mud Turtle going down. Yep. Looks like Gold Peak is going to be next. Should. There he goes. L7 up by two. One. Yeah, L7 Sorry, did surprisingly good in that little spot there on the eight line. I thought they were going to get chewed up pretty good, but uh, they've been working it. Blue Crab needs to get his, get that big cannon into the fight and start putting some shots on the side of Mayor Machungus right there. Because Mayor Machungus takes Ooh, nice out. Nice cake down Storm there. Yeah, Bull Monkey just went down quick. Storm Knight's hanging on there with 63 hit points. Oh, he fire. still wants it. Oh, he gets the takedown right there. J-Cal going down. Oh, one shot there ammo rack. Good night. Version four. Boom. Full help. Uh, so fireworks. L7, good job in there just hanging on to that 8 line and having their tanks come off the 0 line to assist. Really nicely done on their part. That's the reason why I haven't bought a version 4 is because I've seen them one shot on Amorak too many times. Listen, I own that piece of junk and I wouldn't <laughs> take it out of the garage ever again. Yeah, it just sits I mean, there I saw... because I like to look at it. A Death oh, Star can actually face. pen it. A Death Star can pen it with its Hesh and ammo racket. Yeah. I mean. I'll tell you what. Anything with heat can go right through its face. Yeah. Look at that line. That's why Look the 263. Uh, you want to go through some damage there? Yep. Yeah. All right. Over on the TG side of the world. They, they had the play. It just uh, didn't get executed quite as well. Gold Peak coming in there 24-64. Traumatosis in his 430U coming out there with the quadruplet of twos. Over on the L7 side of the world, damage spread across the board, ranging for Pandaside here in the 140 with the over 2k to kill. Uh, Mayor Bachungus and his IS-7 coming out there, 2208. Um, all the way up here, smoking, showing 12N. Only blocking yeah. 440, but 4,331 damage, right? <laughs> <laughs> he dished it. <laughs> Storm Knight coming in there. Playing cleanup duty, getting five kills, 34, 79. GG's, great Woo! job, and an IS-7. And then Obliterate coming in there, blocking 1,100. And dishing out 31, 01. I like GG's. it. I like it. Good first match right there to start out. All right. Very, very good. So this will be interesting right now to see if uh, both teams elect again to go to the field. I would suspect that uh, L7 after that showing would go right back at it. Yeah, take it right to The right difference field. is will TG go with the same? They went a little more, they went more kind of like a, a bait where they kind of set up kind of a deep turtle and then ran that flank 
and it looked like it was really working well, but um, I think they're just, their trades need to be a little crisper. Right. TG not messing around, TG man. TG knows exactly <laughs> what they want to run. Um, I'll run through TG's side. We got Blue Crab, Gold Peak, uh, and Pug all run in the 263 and a 268. We got two 430 used by Traumatosis and Cruiser, three IS 7s by Mud Turtle, Rat, and J Cal, and then two 705As by Bull Monkey and Arapaho Flyer. Over to you, Hells. Thank you very much. Sounds like a whole bunch of Soviet bias. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> all right, here we go. Trio of 705As was a Smoky Mayor Obliterate. IS-7's rolling out, Random Gamer, Storm Knight, Big Slice, Fisk, and Maid. Random Gamer picking up one, Pandaside staying in the 140. What is Aceus going to pull out this time? I wonder if he's going to pull out the hey. 261. Yeah. I don't know. He ran the 26, what, he ran the 263 last Three, time? Yeah, ran 263. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna wait to just get that thing up there. So this time they've dropped one of the 430Us. They picked up the 705A on the L7 side. The question is, there it is, the 263. All right, 263. Uh, and then I did get reports. I had my little Russian reporter out there named Vinny. Vinny went out and went and talked to Big Slice. Big Slice said they were having Xbox issues. So uh, that was the uh -oh. th that'd be the update of. Uh, what was taking so long? So thanks. We're getting getting a little slow off. Yeah. So thanks, okay. Vinny, my 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 professional little Russian reporter. Go on out there and find some more stuff. Else, I just saw the Soviet flag flying behind all of our icons. That's pretty cool, buddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> At the end, I have a really you big. going the extra mile tonight. <laughs> right. <laughs> Got to dress to impress, baby. Uh -uh. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like the little touch. That's cool, man. All right. I'm predicting what Hell's predicted, and that would be a field push here on um, IL-7. Too much speed. Yep. Let's see here. Probably going to go ahead and rush the 7 and partially camp up at probably D8. We gonna see some side scraping there from Fisk. Yeah. Yep, right off that building right there. He's gonna do some side scraping and then they'll find out are they gonna shove the 705 A's low and fast down the, the line. Yep. Here comes the 705. Well, no, I thought they were, but they got detected and that kind of put a little pause in L7's plan, I think. But I do like how L7 pushes up deep into this eight line and really establishes them th themselves. Uh, this is what they did last time and it paid off for them. Mm. So notice Big how hit. those IS7s have all taken up good side scraping positions and fall down positions on those piles of rubber, rubble on the eight line. Say goodbye to Gold Peak. <laughs> yeah, Gold Peak. Here we go. Here comes that tap. flank. Can he get reversed fast enough? that flank with the 705s. Oh, he and this is revert. led by Mayor McChungus. Blue Crab's yeah. not looking uh -oh. at it. Uh oh, Blue Crab's not. He's not. He's too focused in on the guys out there. He does 777, yeah. but now he doesn't realize that he oh, has. Oh, he's five turning tanks. backwards now. He right. Should go down, honestly. Two, uh, Pug and his uh, two six three trying to hold it down, but that's that's too much. Too yeah, much fire. He's isolated now, and they have his backside, and it's just farming for free and none of his team can support him in that position. Not with that tank. Turtle should have just went to a side scrape and tried to. Yeah. So here's the problem now. Mud Turtle now has pushed in. The problem is, is that... Uh, he has uh -oh, a good no little fire, fire extinguisher either. on Storm yeah. Knight. Storm yeah. Knight did not bring his fire extinguisher into battle there. Smoke going to be trying to get the back end of Traumatosis. Nope, he's going to be probably yeah. Bull Monkey. Nope. Yeah. Oh, he does get it. Looks like Cruiser's down to one shot, having a little uh, battle out here with Maid on the... He goes down. I think Traumatosis should have shot Storm Knight versus ramming yeah. then shooting the 705. 
L7 has only lost one tank in this battle. You're right, Traumatosis is in trouble. Old Monkey's in trouble. Atheus finally goes down there for uh, L7. It is cleanup time. Too many Soviet tanks. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh, man. Oh, and the double takedown at the end to wrap it up, and L7 goes up two zip. Yes, they do. Just a wave of Russian tanks coming at you. <laughs> Carlin, thank you for the subscribe four months in a row. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, you, comrade. Buddy. Over on the TG side of the world, J. Cal and his IS-7. We pulled out a 2K. Uh, not bad, not bad. Red pulling out a 2K, blocking 490. Over on the L7 side, a little bit more spread this time. A lot better spread. Everybody putting in some damage. Uh, big Slice, though, and his IS-7 coming in there, 32-27, blocking 16-40. Let's see who is the highest blocker on the team. Obliterate with 2K. Let's with obliterate. Yeah. 18. Look at Random Gamer coming in there with his IS-7, 3105 with 1420. Smoke, 2699, blocking 1290. GG's, guys. Good. Way, to, yeah, way to show up your Soviet bias. Mm -hmm. Where are so we going are now? What here? map yes are we no. moving to? Next up, the all-time Russian favorite, Prokhorovka. Ah. Now here's a question. Are they going to bring out Artie? I, I'm planning on seeing some 261s. It's yeah, I think it, at some point you have to see that. At least yeah. one. At least one. I mean, with 10 tanks, it seems silly not to. You're putting yourself almost at a disadvantage by not bringing that out. I don't think L7 is actually going to bring it out with how many mediums they're throwing up. Oh, yeah. I, I could see a full Russian medium lineup, honestly, here. We're gonna see. And then just Prager storm over the center. LT, yeah. And just, uh, you know, kind of like the old school WCL, the classic Blitzkrieg right over the top. You know, you YOLO over the five line, find them and kill them. Right. <laughs> That's what this looks like right now on the uh, L7 side. Ooh, K91. That's a, that that screams hill. Yeah, that's a laser. Not a lot of gun <laughs> depression, but the, uh, the, the the fire rate and the uh, shell velocity on that is pretty wicked. Well, you can either go hill with TG it or is pulling out one Charlie of everything. One. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's see. TG's right side is that north? So yeah, right now on the. Uh, on the setup on this is on the uh, left side, which is L7. They're going to be in the north. 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 All right. So TG will be coming from the south. Oh, we might have a change up maybe. Random Gamer deselected. Let's see what else he's going to pull up. So really past L7, Panda sided that light tank of the T100. McChungus in the 62A. Smoke, Obliterate, Big Slice, Fisk. All 140s. Atheist Storm made IS-7s. And Random Gamer pulls out yeah. the fifth 140. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, yeah. Over on the TG side, we got a 261 uh, by Pug. Gold Peak in the 263. The LT Bull Monkey. 430U Cruiser. K91 Blue Crab. 430 Traumatosis. 140 Rat. Two IS-7s by Mud Turtle. J. Cal and Rapaho Flyer in the 705A. Way to throw up, like, one of everything. <laughs> Just missing the 277. I know, right? Well, I want to see throw up one of every Soviet medium. 
sure. Wondering what what do you got? You got the uh, the IS seven, the two seven seven, the seven oh five A, and the IS four. So that'd give you four heavies. And then if you throw up all four, is it four Russian mediums that exist? Yes. Yeah, K ninety one, four thirty, yeah. four thirty. And then you do the LT, and then you could pick a two six one or a TD, and you'd have like the full right full show right there. <laughs> all right. So the key is that it be. Can TG set up a good defense against what looks like is going to be a Blitzkrieg? I don't know what it is in Russia. <laughs> By L7. Every one of these IS-7s on L7's team are three marked. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not surprised. A bunch of two marks on their 140s. Hey, here we go. Yeah, it looks like a, like a three-line engagement, possibly. So Maybe many tanks, they're line, everywhere. Line. Uh, L7 takes the bull. Are they going to crest and go, or is TG going to crest and get into that bull? Ooh, smoke showing. I think he... he oh, got no, Artie slid up. Bugs L7 shot. is definitely... Bugs down. Yeah, that was too easy. They gotta go. They gotta get into the bowl. They're doing the right thing now, but they gotta send everything in there and win this bowl fight. Good take down there, big slice. Yeah, their focus Traumatosis fire's a little down. off. Traumato uh, Traumatosis is a one, but ooh, another nice take down. Traumatosis goes down. Big Cal's a one shot. Those blue crab. Nice ram kill there by Obliterate. Rats trying this to is, get fizzed. You know, we, we, but it paid for yeah, it. When you have like gold peak in the back there in that 263, and I don't know what his damage is going to be, but there's just too many tanks sitting back kind of sniping for TG when the fight's in the bowl. Right. And, Overload and the mobility at right, now. right now. Yeah. Mud turtle should go down, yeah. Oh, oh. goes down. Oh, a top went flying big time. Top was that goes from, obliterates top. <laughs> goes from 1500 landed. damage to 38 damage, just like yeah. that. They landed like two or three tank lengths away from his tank. That's a pretty big top flown right there. Legally atheist and May just needs to go up front yeah. and push, then everything else just follows right behind them. Mm-hmm. Oh, unfortunate tracking shot. And a side in the backside. And uh, Gold Peak is in big trouble. There it is, L7. You gotta take this one. Yep. Three and out. Good victory. Good victory, yeah. Alrighty. 261 did farm for TG. He he was able to be pretty effective. He almost put up 5k, so he was doing work. Right, yeah, the 263 was putting in 1066. Putting good work. Maybe it was just more of a mobility issue on the uh, TG side and Maybe. less of... Uh, Having, having tanks stand in the back. I don't know. Because the arty, they didn't get anything from that arty. They already got detected too quickly. Right. So we're on TG side, I mean, Repo Flyer coming felt. in with the 705A with two, 2k damage. And as we were talking, Gold Peak there with the 4914 over on the L7. Panda side, Slight Tank almost throwing up 2k. GG's, man. Made coming in there with 2429 and his IS7. Fisk and his 140, 2695. Down here, Storm and his IS-7, 23, 24. Locking 300. 
Obliterate coming in there is the big winner on L7. Two kills. Uh, 3583 and Random Gamer down there. He did pick up almost 2K with four kills. Great job, L7. GG's, guys. Looks like they want to play one more. Yeah, they have plenty of time. Oh, we got time. <laughs> Can we pick another Soviet map? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take it to Murrow. Murrow, yeah. Murrow encounter. Have you no know for oh. oh, they want to play the other side. That's all they want to do is just play the other side. We can just leave it here. Oh, no. Looks like... There we go. Yep. We'll switch outsides here. Let's see here. Let's see, J-Man was worried about the spawn bug. That's what... Yep. Yeah. Fab J right there. It's team destruction. Let's see here. Trying to go through... We're almost done. Me and Rybot almost got something figured out for everybody, so. Both sides are picked. You guys want to go down the sides? Absolutely. Alrighty, here we go. GG side of the world. Pug 261, Gold Peak 263. Pull Monkey, T100LT, Cruiser pulling out the 430U, Traumatosis 430, Rat in the 140, Mud Turtle, and J Cal both IS7s, Blue Crab in the 277, Arapaho Flyer in the 705A. And there's the yep, Waggles. And over on the L, L7 side, we got some craziness going on here. We have three LTs with random gamers, smoke showing, Panda side. A T62A by Storm Knight, three 140s by Obliterate Big Slice and Tiffish, and then three IS7s by Mayor McChungus, Legally Atheist, and Nade. Hey man, no problem. Thanks for uh, thanks for L7 coming out, man. Both TG L7. Um, next time around, AMD was going to be going against. So originally it was going to be second PD, then it was going to be AMD, but um, L7 decided that they asked if they could come on out. L7 has been on the stream for a while, with AMD and everybody else has been on religiously. So we gave uh, that. L7 the spot and, and yet they put on a good show. It's been awesome. I love having both TG and L7 here on the stream. These guys are some stand-up teams. Absolutely. Yeah. Both great teams. Let's see All what they right. do. I'm, I'm guessing these uh, LTs are just going to get some good spotting runs here. They're making paranoid. Looks like, yeah, L7 is, looks like it's definitely going to push some hill tanks this time. I'm wondering if they're going to send everything over the hill. They're all heading that way, except for well, the light tanks. That many light tanks, I'd figure you're going to have them, I mean, you're going to have consistent vision at all times, 100%, if you, your light tanks play it right. And Artie's lit up again. <laughs> yep. So, Artie's going to get taken out very early here, yet again. And it doesn't matter that they're... There he goes. Even still, if this light tank dies, it's a well good trade off. Yep. One light tank. Oh, that's for... a huge trade, and and they might not even get him. I mean, smoke in that LT is super quick, and you're not going to hit him with a two six three unless he stops in front of you. Right. <laughs> oh, big shot going there with a four thirty hit him. He still let it get out. out definitely zero line is controlled by um, L7 let's see how uh, T TG counters it's a 
they can't really take the overmatch on the rails because they'll get obliterated by everything on the hill. Right. So they're forced to kind of trade on the other side of the tracks. Unfortunately for EG, you're going to have to find a different maneuver there. Here comes Focus Fire being called on Traumatosis. Here we go. One, two, three. Getting a couple bounces off the tracks. A couple bounces off the turret. Goes down. Next up would probably be Gold Peak. The Soviet swarm is yeah, real. What they, <laughs> it's real. They basically realize that all the IS-7s and heavy armor is trapped on the other side of the track. So they just used all their mediums and lights and came over and cleaned up the overmatch. Wonderful air by Gray, clearing almost an entire grid with air time. He definitely gets the uh, WNF X medal, uh, X Games medal on that one. <laughs> TG pushed hey, over. TG. Let's go back over. Yeah. I think they needed to make that push like 30 seconds ago. Right. Once it's he the realized. Right move. But it is. It's like right when they all came off the hill and pushed down, they needed to go over. It, just, it, it looked like it took them just like half minute too long to make that move. Right. But everybody Again, has to Always do... easier said than done. Right. When, when we're watching it. <laughs> and, well, and I, I want to put to everybody in the viewers in this. TG just, uh, they did just graduate to the Pro League. L7 is a champs division Yeah, team. congratulations. Yeah. Okay, Cal trying to bounce as much as he can. Oh, but he oh. can't. Burned up there. Another good win by L7. Their mobility really showing that they can control this map, uh, whether they go field or whether they go hill. Nice job by L7. Yes, sir. All right. J. Cal coming in there with the 3378 blocking over 2K. We'll call it a 2100. Not bad, sure. sir. Great job. Her Mud Turtle coming in there. His IS7 3K damage blocking 1400. Great job coming out on that side. Thank you, TG, for coming out. Das Badania, my friends. All right. L7. Jesse Hop, thank you for the follow. Welcome. How you doing? See, that's uh, oh man, we got so atheist and 3300. I want to see what these 1200 out of one LT, 1700 out of another, 1800 out of that's a pretty good damage spread. I know this LT's uh, did so, did, they did work. <coughs> Great job, and then Storm Knight coming in there, 2995 and a kill. Ninja uh, Maid coming in there with 1863 and a kill. Great job going out to all the teams. All right. Yeah. What's Excellent. coming up next, Dis? Well, coming up next, we have the uh, next big matchup for the evening, which is going to be um, Steel Dragons versus Punished. And another all-Soviet Mother Russian Knight. Hell yeah. 